Good morning everybody. It is Thursday morning and we're going to come together to read a psalm this morning again. This morning it's quite a short psalm. It's Psalm 15 and it only has five verses. And again it says at the top of it it's a psalm of David. Let's read this psalm together. Who may worship in your sanctuary Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right. Speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbours. Or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners. And honour the faithful followers of the Lord. And keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest. And those who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people shall stand forever. Amen. It's a like said, very short little psalm, um, very strange little psalm as well at times as you think about it, saying who may worship in your sanctuary Lord. Then it talks about people who are good enough or people who don't deliberately go out to do harm to others or to corrupt. Kind of speaks of the times and what's going on for David. Um, how people are out for their own, their own self-importance, their own, their own will rather than the will of God. Interesting that it talks even about those who lent money without charging interest. When you think about what Jesus did in the temple, throwing out the money lenders. Um, it shows that that practice had been around for a long time. And it talks about those who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Again, something which is done to Christ. But it's the first verse, who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Only the priest was allowed to go right away inside um, parts of the tabernacle and the temple. Only the priest, the high priest, was allowed to go in once a year to the Holy of Holies, the very inner part of the tabernacle, to make a sacrifice. Sin was the barrier which kept everybody else out. Sin was the barrier which kept the priest out, the high priest out, except for that one day a year from the very inner part. And yet what is coming, something which is talked about in the Psalms as a saviour comes, will remove that barrier, will take that barrier away so that we can all come into God's presence because we can have our sin forgiven. Sin was such a big part of the Israelites' life, their response to it, um, how they had to sacrifice to have it forgiven, how they dealt with it, how they didn't deal with it, um, how they twisted things to suit themselves. And the psalmist did every twist and turn is just trying to point the people to their relationship with God, something which is just as important today. What's our relationship with God like? Are we honest with God? Or do we just tell God what we think he wants to hear? Do we tell him all the good parts and we don't want to tell him the bad parts? He knows them anyway. Just tell him. Just talk to him. That's all he ever wants from us. To be honest and open. So what are we like this morning? Are we the person who leads a blameless life? It's impossible, isn't it? Are we the ones who refuse to gossip? Or do harm to our neighbours. We might try, but sometimes we will fall out and we will fail. Do we um, follow the faithful followers of the Lord? Well, yes, that's what we want to do, day in and day out. Keeping our promises even when it hurts. Well, yes, we want um, our word to be truthful. Um, those who lent money without charging interest, are we honest in our business? Um, as we go about our daily life, are we honest? Because again, people see that. Or can we be bribed to, to do whatever people want? It says at the end that if we, if we are striving to do that, then such people will stand firm forever. That's what God wants us to do. Stand firm for him. Let's stand firm today. Let's pray. Lord, thank you again for your psalms. Thank you again for this short psalm and for all that it has to teach us. Lord, help us to stand firm in a world which 
sways and blows and goes with what popular opinion is. Help us simply to stand firm in your name, doing what you want us to do. Lord, it might cause us problems, it might cause us hassles, it might cause us persecution. But Lord, we know that it's the right thing to do for your glory and honour. So Lord, help us this day. Lord, again, we thank you for this medium of Facebook and the internet. We pray for all the different churches who are doing such things as this, as they use technology to reach out, to keep us all connected. Father, may people right the way around the world be able to link in to what is going on. May they be able to hear your words, grow closer to you. And Father, for those maybe as yet who don't know you, that as they listen, that they would open their hearts to you and let you in. So Lord, thank you for this day. Continue to look after us, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks folks for watching. Um, trust that you have a good day and um, may God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye.